host for this evening, Stephen Fry. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Stop it. Stop it, stop it. Oh, you have. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the EE British Academy Film Awards. Look at you. Look at how shiny and lovely you all are. How gorgeous. How, how, how effulgent with glamour and style. How radiant with beauty. I don't mean that. I just want you to like me. <laughs> this year, the stars, as you probably know, have colluded and collided in such a way as to make British film's annual outpouring of love coincide with St. Valentine's Day. It's especially fitting as love abounds this year in film. The love between two women, uh, love between a young Irish girl and an Italian-American, love between Roman Catholic priests and, <laughs> and their lawyers, love between Jobs and Apple, and in Matt Damon's case, love between man and potato. <laughs> But before we get down to business, let's meet some of the superstars out here in the Royal Opera House galaxy, sending out very detectable gravitational ripples. It's almost impossible for me to rest my eyes anywhere without meeting the gaze of someone incredible. Um, right before me, I see some of the cast of that stunning epic, The Revenant, as Donald Gleeson, uh, Will Poulter, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. I congratulate all three of you. In particular, I have to congratulate you on your incredible endurance and fortitude, making it through that hostile, windy, freezing, wet terrain, all the way to the end of the red carpet and into the opera house itself. <laughs> Welcome to Britain and its climate. When my agent told me that I'd uh, been booked to do a bear scene with Leonardo DiCaprio, I did a cartwheel. Um, it's uh, a bear scene, but um, not quite what I'd imagined. It, very hot and itchy in that costume. <laughs> we must talk, though, about Star Wars. The Force finally woke up. Mm. And what a cracking film. Notable for us here, of course, with some fabulous new British talent in the shape of Daisy Ridley and John Boyega. Uh, Things, things are well underway for the next film in the series, which I happen to know has some very interesting casting. In fact, I don't think even John's been told about it, but uh, now's as good a time as any. John, I am your father. <laughs> yeah, you know it is true. The, uh, the director of this year's searingly hot Cold War drama, Bridge of Spies, is here, Steven Spielberg. I absolutely loved this film and its wonderful depiction of a bleak time when we were teetering on the brink of nuclear war. Uh, of course, all that's over now, and <laughs> nowadays we're more likely to sit down with our Russian friends and enjoy a nice warm cup of polonium. <laughs> the, the, the stars of the sublime Carol are here, Kate Blanchett and Rooney Mara. In this remarkable film, Kate plays a refined, upper-class lady who goes into a department store to get a train set uh, and ends up getting the shop assistant as well. <laughs> of course, that's unlikely to happen these days, as most people do that sort of thing online now. Um, <laughs> it's certainly where I've got hold of all my shop assistants. <laughs> it's, it's very wonderful to see Brian Cranston here. Um, Trumbo was a triumph, sir. An absolute triumph. I believe you're already planning a modern-day sequel, uh, once more set in a dark time when bigotry stalks the land and uh, progressive thought is, is banned from America. Working title, Trumpo. Um, <laughs> and, uh, thank you. Um, well, it was there. But talking of America, one of the wonderful things that, that great nation has given the world, along with so many other things, the giant foam finger, for example. <laughs> Leaf blowers. 
uh, creationism, <laughs> um, syrup on bacon, uh, but also the kiss cam. It's common at basketball games and things like that. I'm sure you've seen it. Uh, so if you look to the screen now, you should see that I'm being enveloped by a big heart. So which two lovebirds will our Valentine heart embrace? <laughs> Who we got here? That's more like, should learn from that, Michael. Who next? <laughs> it's Maggie Smith and Leonardo DiCaprio! Yes! Now that's a marriage made in heaven, if ever there were one. Oh, Julianne Moore and Brian Cranston! Brian Cranston, Julianne Moore, whoa! Let's have one more. Oh, it's Eddie Izzard and Rebel Wilson! Eddie and Rebel. Well, thank you. <laughs> Ah. Leo tried to kiss Maggie, she soon gave him the rough edge of her tongue. <laughs> now we turn the spotlight onto something else, on onto one of the stars of the powerful spotlight, the inexplicably adorable Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> Very, uh, Tricky matter, not easy to find humour in the subject of this, I must confess. Although, confess is probably an unfortunate word to have chosen in the circumstances. <laughs> I'll leave it there, though. As an Englishman, I have to say, I, after Black Mass and then Spotlight, both set in Boston, I'm a little confused um, as to what a Boston accent is actually supposed to sound like. There seems to be a wide, divergent opinion uh, amongst the actors of America. Only one man here can help us, Bostonian Matt Damon. <laughs> I shan't ask you to say Harvard Yard or anything like that, but he's the star of the fantastic science fiction award-winning comedy, The Martian. <laughs> um, it's, of course, a magnificent film. It's a tale of courage and intelligence in which, for once in a movie, a hero solves the problem not by shouting or shooting, but by science and thinking. I salute a film, and Ridley Scott, I can see there as well, that celebrates good science and makes it thrilling. So kudos to you, but obviously, Matt, uh, to hell with that. Jason Bourne next, so more shooting, shouting, and kicking of ass. <laughs> and now Steve Jobs, the star of this captivating page-turner of a film. Michael Fassbender is here. Michael, Gosh, he was magnificent as the computing genius behind Apple and looking so foxy this evening. I just want to click on him, drag him on stage and a short while later delete my history. <laughs> but that's probably enough drooling at the stars in our audience. Um, now let's drool at them on the screen, seeing what they do best as we look back at an astounding year in film. Starting to see pictures, ain't you?
God. Show me something. Oh, awesome! You attitude, No, 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 no! Stay happy! Wake up, big heroes! Wake up, big heroes! Chewie. We're home. Wonderful, wonderful. Not least, of course, the musical accompaniment from the creative genius that was the magical and deeply missed David Bowie. Film benefited from his unique gifts as a, an actor, a producer, and of course, musician. The world is a far more monochrome place without his colour and vitality. When we return, this year's award for outstanding British film on BBC America. Congratulations to Kate Winslet. Now, to present costume design, um, two blistering actors. Uh, you'll know her from Quantum of Solace and him from Nightcrawler. They're perfect to present this award because they're hugely gifted, well turned out, and crucially, here. It's Olga Kurilenko and Riz Ahmed. Film is all about taking someone's vision and making it come to life on the screen. The greater the vision, the greater the expertise, dedication and creativity needed to realize it. Which are precisely the qualities tonight's nominees for costume design have in abundance. They have not just brought someone's vision to life, they brought it to life with startling color, deep brilliance and exquisite attention to detail. Let's take a look at them. Carol, Sandy Powell. Merry Christmas. I like that hat. Lily. The Danish girl, Paco Delgado. Cinderella, Sandy Powell. Brooklyn, Odile Dix Moreau. But you have a baby costume. Mad Max Fury Road, Jenny Bevan. And the BAFTA goes to Jenny Bevan, Mad Max Fury Road. What a lovely day. <laughs> I live, I die, I live again. I just have to tell you one thing, that 
I think I've worked with some of the most amazing directors in film. And George, thank you so much for taking me on, the Bonnets and Corsets Girl. I can't thank you enough for giving me this chance. It's absolutely brilliant. And thank you, BAFTA, and thank you, my team. And it's great. Thank you. I was lucky enough to audition with Leonardo DiCaprio for a film about 10 years ago. I got to spend 15 minutes working with him and it's one of the more inspiring 15 minutes of my life. So um, I think he's extraordinary and deserves it all. So. We're excited to be here. The show was a huge part of our lives. We're out there for almost a year and here we are showing, you know, all the work that we put into something that we're very passionate about. And this guy, in my opinion, pulled off sequences that'll go down in cinematic history. I've been so lucky. I've been doing most of my productions. I think I've been based out of the UK, so it feels extremely humbling to, to be invited here. I mean, I, I've never been before, so we'll see. I, I think we're gonna have fun, though. My wife came over from LA, so that's I'm, I'm shooting here right now. So um, just to have a night out with her is fun. So when you can, oh, oh, it's so cold. <laughs> it's so cold. Presenting now the award for Supporting Actor, an award traditionally given to a man, we have a lady actor. She's not only a rebel by name, she's also a Wilson by name. Soon to be seen in uh, How to Be Single, please welcome Rebel Wilson. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's so great to be here at this really serious event. <laughs> I have never been invited to the Oscars because, as you know, they are racist. <laughs> but the BAFTAs have diverse members. And that's what we all want to see in life, isn't it? Diverse members. <laughs> One day, I hope to return here to win a BAFTA myself. I have already been practicing my transgendered face. <laughs> and now, to segue to, to the award of Best Supporting Actor. Sorry, Idris Elba, you're making me a bit nervous. <laughs> but I'm just sociologically programmed to want chocolate on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Five really attra attractive men have been nominated. <laughs> and I really look forward to congratulating the winner. <laughs> Although, I'm looking forward even more to consoling the four losers. <laughs> Let's take a look at these actors' incredible work. Christian Bale, The Big Short. Are you being sarcastic with us, Mike? <sighs> Lawrence, I don't know how to be sarcastic. I don't know how to be funny. I don't know how to work people. I, I just know how to read numbers. Benicio Del Toro, Sicario. 
Mr. Milling. Freeze! Step away from him. Put that down. I mean it. Move away from him right now. Don't ever point a weapon at me again. Mark Rylance, Bridge of Spies. Pencil, piece of paper, cigarettes. Please. Mr. Donovan, you have men like me doing the same for your country. If they were caught, I'm sure that you would wish them to be treated well. Idris Elba, Beast of No Nation. We have been defending ourselves against the killings and rippings of our own people from the PLF and now from the NRC junta. But it has awakened a sleeping beast. It has awakened a giant. It has put the weapons of this war back in the hands of you, the young. Mark Ruffalo, Spotlight. It's time, Robbie. It's time. They knew, and they let it happen to kids. Okay? It could have been you. It could have been me. It could have been any of us. We got to nail these scumbags. We got to show people that nobody can get away with this. Not a priest or a cardinal or a freaking pope. And the BAFTA goes to... Mark Rylance for Bridge of Spies. Uh, Mark is currently performing on Broadway, so to accept the award, Steven Spielberg. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. And Mark, uh, in the event that this actually happened, uh, asked me if I would uh, stand in for him and read a note that he wrote to all of you. My sincere thanks to the British Academy for celebrating my acting with this award. My apologies as my theater work in New York City means that I can't be with you. I'm particularly pleased to be celebrated as a supporting actor as I very much enjoy the wonderful quality of work that supporting actors do in films these days, especially all my fellow nominees. Lead actors are, of course, unique and gifted, and often, as in the case of Tom Hanks, generous, humble, and supportive as well. I had an unfair advantage this evening working with Tom and my dear friend Stephen, who was graciously supporting me this evening, as he has done ever since we met. Thanks to all, and for me, thanks to all. Oh, Julianne Moore and Brian Cranston. Brian Cranston. Julianne Moore, whoa! So one more. Oh, it's Eddie Izzard and Rebel Wilson. Eddie and Rebel. Well, thank you. 